we have Brutus and Mr. Caesar. Mr. Caesar's out here. He's doing really, really well. Surprisingly well. Caesar, hold on, bud. Okay, so yes, he has the inflatable donut. He was licking his incision. Uh, I apologize. This is a little graphic. Um, yep, he has a big incision Oops. and a drain. The bottom comes out behind his leg there. I apologize. This is graphic, but... Uh, this is a lot smaller than what it was when we started, and even that lump there will go down a little bit. Um, <clears throat> but thank you to everyone who donated. Uh, when he came here, before he had stitches here, so he had another mass here that the vet at the shelter removed, but wasn't comfortable removing that one, and uh, can't blame him. So anyway, he's doing well. We're, we're out here. This is actually his first walk his first real walk since the procedure, and we're just taking it slow. Um, he is on carprofen and cephalexin. Okay, cephalexin's an antibiotic. Um, and then carprofen, if you don't know, it's, a, it's an NSAID, so it's a pain reliever without any steroids in it. And, you know, it's kind of like us taking Tylenol. And I just want to clarify that it's like us taking Tylenol. You should never give Tylenol to a dog. It's, uh, it's not really, it's not good for them at all. So, carprofen, it's a generic Rimadyl. That might, might sound more familiar to more people than carprofen. All right, so as you can see, he's, he's up, he's up, he's doing well. He's doing really well. Um, okay, that's it. I don't usually do these on Sunday. But uh, we're going to head inside here in a little bit. We haven't eaten breakfast yet. We're going to have brunch. <laughs> and um, 